Welcome to At Home with David and... Oh, where's Kwa? I cannot find Kwa. See ya. I thought maybe I would share some of my beginning gardening with you. First of all, I've made some wonderful screens where I take my soil and clean it all out. I actually have several, some smaller size greens. And what I'm going to be doing right now is preparing for planting seeds. So I'm going to be, go ahead and show you a little bit of how I fill up one of these trays. Just basically, I've got this nice filter, sifted soil, and I just put it on here. Up. Fill it up and then uh, kind of pat it down with my fingers. Kind of pack it in. And so we'll pick up on after I finish with those trays. And here's the next uh, load of soil that I have drying out on my screen to be cleaned up for more potting. Hello and welcome to At Home with David. I'm Del Juan. This is our gardening show brought to you by the Great Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about seed saving. First, an easy seed to save are okra seeds. These are dried okra and we just open them up and you can see the seeds. Let's see if we can zoom in on some of these seeds here. Looks like we got quite a batch out there. Okra seeds for you. Now the next seed that we're going to go after are basil seeds. Now anything to keep in mind when you are trying to say seeds is if the vegetable has seeds in it. And of course peppers, you can see the seeds in your peppers. There's lots of those. In fact you cut them out before you eat your peppers. Ah, uh, there's seeds in cucumbers. Most people eat the seeds when they're eating cucumbers. Same goes with zucchini, all your squash. They all have uh, plenty of seeds in them. Uh, you just need to be able to cut them out, dry them, and save them. Now, if you go to the store and you buy organic produce, any of that produce that has seeds in it, you can save those seeds, and then you have yourself some organic produce seed. Now, we're going to use some screens to get the basil. And we put a couple screens together here. Now you have to let the basil plant go to seed. And these here are the little seed pods on the basil plant. And I'm just going to spread some, of, pull some of these off. But just so you can see, that's what the basil seeds look like when the plant, the basil leaves and the plant goes to seed. The same thing happens with lettuce. It'll go to seed. You just let the, have to let your plant go to seed and then collect the seed. I'm going to pull some more of these off here. And I think we probably got enough here. 
I tell you one thing about baked saving basil seed is it smells so good. I wish that you all could smell it like one of the famous TV chefs used to say, I wish we had smell-o-vision. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just press these little flower, dried up flowers down into my press here. And we won't pick up all the time on the video. We're going to just see if we can, if we've got some seeds formed. Take this off. And I'm going to try to lift this up and zoom in on it. It is definitely full of little teeny seeds. Oh, you can see the seed slide. Okay, if I can take that, I'm going to go ahead and dump this into a little tray that I have here. And once again, you can see the seeds are small, little teeny black seeds. And I'll pick those out. And in the next segment, we're going to plant them into some of our seed starters. And now you can see that I've got my seed starters all ready to go. What I have is I have these little sticks or markers. I've made a pen, which is marked with one quarter inch, half inch, inch, and an inch and a half, so I can find out how deep I need to plant the seed. I've saved some of my own seeds. I've also done the traditional route where I bought some seeds. What I'll do is I'll plant in rows. And each row I'll mark with what plants that I planted there. With a wood popsicle stick and a sharpie pen. So let me go ahead and get that started and I'll be back again. Thank you. Here are a couple of my seed starter trays. Here I have planted some okra. I have a few other trays to show you which are in a special place right now. What you see here are a couple seed starter trays and a special setup where we can lower a grow light down to the plant level. We'll go ahead and roll that back up. And if you'll notice in our tray, we have quite a bit of sunflower seed uh, plants that are coming up. We also have several beet plants that are coming up, several char, and one cucumber. This afternoon we'll be taking out the sunflower seeds and transplanting them outside. Here we have a lovely planting of sunchokes. Sunchokes are very similar in appearance as sunflowers. However, these produce edible roots and these edible roots are known as Jerusalem artichokes. These plants come up year after year after year. Wonderful to have in your garden. Well, hello again, and welcome to this wonderful tray of sunflower plants. We're going to be planting these today, and we'll show you how we do that. And we also have a lovely plant here. This is a sunchoke. They look very similar when they grow up to a sunflower, except they're seeded by the actual root, which is a Jerusalem artichoke. These plants are wonderful because they come up year after year after year. Let's take a closer look at the sunflowers. Okay, so I'm going to be preparing the soil to plant them. 
Now something that I like to do, but you don't necessarily have to do, is I like to start the holes with the post hole diggers. I'm going to start that one for the sun choke. And I'll start this one here with the sunflower. Well, first I'm going to plant the sun choke. Fill up the hole that I got prepared. See what the depth looks like here. That looks pretty good for the sun choke. Now next we got the sunflower. Sunflower roots far down there. So here you have it. Let's see. There's our sunflower. And there's our sun choke. And I'm going to continue planting the rest one sunflower at a time. And here you can see that of the sunflowers that sprouted up, I was able to plant quite a few. And we wanted to show you that we have some peas growing over here in our garden. Very, very nice peas. We also have a little cilantro. And over here we have some cabbage. What's always nice to remember is when you plant something, something might grow. If you don't plant anything, nothing will grow. And here I have a nature mill kitchen composter and we put our kitchen scraps in there and in about 14 days or so we get nice compost that you can find in the bottom drawer here as the composter gets filled up you just press the button to have it empty out in the bottom tray and you start all over again it automatically rotates for you every so often. Great, great way to get rid of your kitchen scrap without throwing it in the garbage. Welcome to the compost tumbler. What I do is put the leaves and the glass clippings into the tumbler. You can see 
Dave at the Tumblr is uh, about 25 years old and a little bit worn.